Victoria now, just uh, moments after pulling off almost a, an amazing victory here. Now you're going to reflect on this for hours to come, Victoria, but congratulations, that was fantastic. Thank you. It wasn't quite the race plan that I was hoping for, um, but it, it finished up all right in the end. I was, I'm really pleased with the results. No pace on early. You had to go to Plan B very quickly. Yes, and uh, we kept, Plan B happened a bit too quickly. I wanted a more gradual transition into Plan B, shall we say, which didn't happen. So I just had to go with it. I tried to hold him back for a little bit just so that he had a horse next to him to, to encourage him to keep going because I was told that if I went before three furlongs, he'd probably go, ha, had enough, thank you. So I was trying to hold a bit back. Well, you did bide your time. Just talk me through that last couple of furlongs there. Oh, I was just pushing with every, everything I had, really, and uh, it, it's quite difficult because the course is a little bit undulating in, in those last three furlongs, and I must admit, I, I felt like I lost my balance a bit on a couple of strides, which was a bit frustrating because I couldn't keep a, a really good rhythm. Um, and I was just shouting at him, really, just shouting at him to keep going. There's probably so much going through your mind in that yeah. situation, you know, all the instructions and, and, and advice you've been given. Exactly. And you know that, for, for example, if you're pushing for three furlongs, it's really going to hurt. So you have to be prepared just to grab it by the scruff of the neck and just go for it. And to give the horse credit, he kept on finding for you. And as that line was looming closer, you must have had glory in your sights. Oh, gosh, I was so hoping that... The, I could just imagine everyone coming past, like, at the last minute. Everyone was going to come past. But I was just willing him on, just really pushing him. And I'm so pleased. Harry has done me proud. So I'm really pleased about that. Well, he has. And you said earlier this afternoon you'd have been happy just to get a nice spin round, just get a bit of confidence. This has clearly exceeded all your expectations. It has indeed. It really has. And... Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I could have done better, but on the whole, I'm really pleased with the way uh, Royal Etiquette performed for me today. Yeah, and something... He's going to get some polos. <laughs> I'm sure he is. And something really positive for you to take away. You'll go back with Lorne and Alan and, and go through the video, no doubt, and, and, yes. and analyse. But it's given you something that... Well, a lot of confidence for a start. Absolutely, and there's nothing quite like it. I feel so blessed to have an opportunity to ride a racehorse in a real race, like a real <laughs> jockey for the first time, so I feel honoured. And a great reception from a good crowd here today. A wonderful reception. Thank you, everyone, for coming and cheering me on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so when's the next race? The of the I don't inquiry. know. We'll have to see Very soon, soon hopefully. So hopefully, um, hopefully we've done a good job and uh, hopefully get a few more rides, so fingers crossed. Yeah, and clearly the big target is, is the spring at Cheltenham, as we know, but you're going to want to gain First, presumably as much 10, race experience as you can between three, now and then. Absolutely, and, and doing nine, flat races four, is just kind of seven, allowing six, you to to sort of hone six, those start skills, 11. and then when we start to add a jump, you know, jumps into it and point to point, number the pace is going to feel a little bit more manageable, I hope. So hopefully... Way. I hope so it's a good start. Good start, anyway. It's a fantastic start, Victoria. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.